Hey, boaters, it's Jim from Remarine. I'm here with Brian Jensen. Brian is our product manager for the YachtSense Link product line. So we've been looking at YachtSense Link, our marine 4G router solution, and all the connectivity it brings to your boat. I understand there might be times when you might have to disconnect this. Maybe you're going to move it to another boat or get it serviced or something like that. There's a little procedure called offboarding. Why is that important, Brian? Yeah, so when you uh, onboard the router and um, the app, um, you're basically creating a connection, a okay. connection between the device, the router, um, your own account with us, okay. and uh, the mobile app. And why it's so important is because if you wanted to repurpose the router, like transferring it to a different boat, mm -hmm. if you wanted to get it serviced, if you wanted to upgrade or something like that, you want to basically unconnect your information from the router. So actually, you know, if we were to do it as a return, we would actually ask you to go through this process if you were going to be sending us the router back for service or or exchange or something like that. So it's really critical that you go through this step. But the good news is it's very easy to do right within the app. So I can go ahead and show that. Sure. Yeah. Let's take a look at it right here on the app. So when you go into the app, you're going to up here, there's going to be a hamburger menu up on the upper left. And when you click on that, you're going to see your boat connection come up. It's actually going to be colored in green to show that you're connected. And then you're going to see your actual device. So in this case, you could see the YachtSense link device. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap on that. <clears throat> and a menu is going to appear on the bottom. So it's basically going to show your router. And there's going to be a way to go back into your router configurations and do the setup. Or there's a remove button. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit that remove button. It's going to ask me to confirm. This is the point of no return. Right? Point of no return. So be caught, be careful when you do it. The good news is you can reset it up. It's very easy. So, so now at this point, the app has disconnected your account from the cloud. But there is one final step to fully offboard the router before you can onboard it again. Okay. And that's basically just to run a power cycle on the router here. So you can do that just by disconnecting the power cable okay, or by, you know, disconnecting at the circuit, however you want to do yep, it, but just the switch, power right. this down, it'll reboot. And then when it reboots, it'll be like, it's a brand new, brand new, out uh, of the box. brand new out of the box router. You can move it to a different boat. You can send it into us for uh, service or, or whatever you need to do. Very good. Well, that is the YachtSense link system. Thank you for watching our video series on this. We hope you found it helpful. I uh, hope you found some great tips in there for getting your system set up and online. Again, if you're interested in learning more about the YachtSense Link system, head on over to raymarine.com. We've got all the details there. And of course, feel free to reach out to your local Raymarine dealer who can uh, assist you in getting YachtSense Link technology on board your boat. Thank you for watching. Until next time, we'll see you later and have a safe time out there on the water. Bye-bye.